Hello, my name is Mohammed Hassan. Uh, I came from Syria. Uh, I came to the UK 2018. I was uh, a teacher in Syria. Then because of the world starting. Now, my age at that, that time, I have to go to the army. Uh, you know, the army way. You have to kill or someone kill you. But I don't want to do, I don't want to touch anything. Any, I don't want to be, you know, I just, just want to run away. I just ran away to the Jordan. You know, also was very hard life for me in Jordan. I stayed there for around 10 years in Jordan. I get married, then I get two, two daughters. Then one day uh, I received one call from a private number. They said to me, you are uh, working with the UK Home Office and your name coming up as a refugee. Are you happy to go to the UK? I say, okay, we go all for the process, for the fingerprint, for the everything. Then I get the visa. And when I came to the uh, Birmingham airport, was one uh, big charity company calling Garas. They was waiting for me, they write the piece of paper, my name and my family name. Then they said to me, you are welcome, we will look after you. They take me to the hotel for one day in Gloucester by Burger King, I think. Then next day they come into the hotel, they take me from the hotel to the home I used to live here in Sindaford. They was offering me food, they was offering me uh, warm welcome, and I, I feel safe. Then they give me money as well. They say, look, you came to this country. When I came, I don't have anything. It was very helpful from the beginning. Then day by day, day by day, life's getting, getting good. After 15, 20 days, I meet one lady, it's calling Katrina. She's very good, she was teach me English. She was coming to our home. Day by day, day by day, it's getting better. Now, after that, uh, she buy me bicycle. And I used to go all around the area. You know, I want to meet people because I want to know more English people to understand the life here. Because I come from different culture, from different, everything different. One day I pass by bicycle from my home, I go call for it. Uh, one coffee shop over there is calling Kaplan's Coffee. I go there, with, without English, you know. I use my Google Translate, I say, look, who's the owner of the business? Uh, I don't speak any English, uh, and I'm looking for a job. If he can offer me a job, then I meet the boss. His name Ramazan, he's from Turkey. He's a lovely guy, he was very helpful. He said to me, at the moment, I'm full staff, but as soon as my staff, someone they go holiday, I will call you. After one month or two months, I'm not sure, uh, I give him my number, he called me, he said, look, you st you're still looking for work? Then I say, yes. Uh, I go there, all the staff was very kind. They teach me slowly, 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 slowly. I used to do first, first few weeks, doing washing. I keep washing, then getting better. Then he put me behind the grill. I said to me, look, you have to learn. It's here, not Syria. No one speak Arabic. No one speak your language here. You have to learn the language. If you learn the language, you will be successful. Otherwise, you will stay all your life looking for work. No one give you a job because you don't speak English. You have to speak the country language to be successful. Then he teach me how to cook. Now, I know how to cook all what they call English breakfast. Sometimes people, they say the refugee, they are not good. I'm not saying that all refugee, they are good. I'm not saying that all, all of them bad. They like can have a five finger in the hand. Look, not all same size. Something good, some, that's, you know, some people that are good, some people that are not good. But the refugee, they want to work. They want a life. They come in here to build up the life. Look now, I'm a refugee. No, I'm, 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 I'm now I'm a part of the community. I'm very help, very happy to help the community because someone give you something when you was nothing. When you grow up, build up the life. You have to give more. I take, I take from when I came, but now I want to give more. Very happy to give. You know, just give chance. I get a little bit English. 
I get my theory test for, I say I have to stop, go by bus. The theory test is not easy. Someone no English, no reading, no writing. One time, two time, three time, keep study, keep study, keep study, keep study. Then I go to the test, I get my theory. Then after that, I book my driver, uh, driver test. I passed my test. Life getting better. Because if you have a car, you can take the family out. We go to the forest, I take the family to the call for, then after we go lead me, then after I went, I was known the area, which this area here, which one here, I, I used, I, I know where I'm going. Then after that, I work for delivery driver in Gloucester for just eight, deliver or Uber. I work for one year, I think. The, my, my back is getting hurt because of the driving. I used to know, I know the alteration when I was young. Uh, I know how to sew in, I will know how to change all the alteration stuff. Then I think in, I, I have a center for not a sport. I ask, is there any good idea if you open a tailor shop in Cinderford? Then everyone say, that's what we need in the forest. Because no one around. If you someone, he want to change the zip, he want to go to Gloucester, he want to go to Bristol, you know, go somewhere. No one around here. Then, okay, I take the risk, you know, I say, okay, I give it a try. If you're working, working, if not working, I go back to delivery. Uh, I open the shop, everyone say, you know, uh, warm welcome, that's what we need. We are not very busy, but not not very quiet, but it's getting, will be, it's a new business, it's gonna take time. I was hoping the world will be finished, I go back to my country. I go back to my school, I go back to my work, I see my mom and my dad, my brother, my sister. But unfortunately, my dad passed away 20, 2020-21, sorry, 2022. Uh, I was hoping to see him. That's, that's making me, my heart broken. And when I'm here, I can't go to Syria because same things. I was waiting to the world finish, to give the, the life back to normal. I go to my family, see my dad, you know, but too late now, he passed away. Now my mom still in Syria. We lost the mom because the world, we don't know where's the mom. Then we found the mom in Lebanon. You know, when had a big bomb coming to the area, everyone just ran away. My dad ran, with, ran away with my brother. My mom, we, th we thought she's died. You know, we don't know where is her for almost seven years. You know, my, you know, mom keep asking for the children, where's my family? They still in her life, but she know me. Uh, I'm outside, I'm in Jordan, but she don't know me, I'm moving to here. They say, my mom, she, she saw my picture on the Facebook. Then she said to me this one, she said, this is my son. Then she called me, then I say, where have you been? We think you're dying, you, you miss from the They say, the day the Atatak coming to the area, we run away, then big, big, big uh, coach coming to take all the family, all, everyone, they take it to the Lebanon. Then she in Lebanon, then moved to back to Syria. I miss my friend. I miss myself. You know, I'm 30 now, but if you look to me, it looks like 40. I look at my face. When I moved from Syria, I used to have full hair. Look now, no hair, nothing, too much stress. Thinking about the family, you know. I hope to see my mom before something happen. But if you, for, you know, I don't wanna say this one, but if something happen, uh, I'm gonna be very upset. My two parents don't see for a long time. That's make me, you know, make me thinking, make me worry. Sometimes once my phone ringing, I say, Ooh, I put my hand in the heart, what's happened? Especially the phone coming from Syria. What's happened? Why they call in this time? When I heard something nice, you know, no no screaming, no sun, no crying, whew, I feel it like a relax. And I miss my friend, all the friend that was going, we was going to school together, we grown up together. It's a hard life.
very hard life. Not easy. I love, to be honest, I love the forest. I love the people here. They are very kind. I've been here almost six years. I don't have even single problem here. Even single someone say to me any, any no nice word. All they say, all nice, all will come, you know, all polite to me. What we need to tell, you know, the refugee, we're not coming to stay home. We're not coming to take someone money. But we need the chance to learn the language. Then after we can work, we can earn money. We are coming to work. We don't need to stay home, uh, sleep all day, wake up all night, or go some, somewhere outside, you know, do bad things or bad stuff. No, no. We have a family. We look after the family. We need like a good future for my children. Now I own business from refugee, from nothing, to someone that's very, you know, make me very proud for myself. That's my story. Thank you very much.